Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries, and I am downtown Springfield, Missouri, and I want to point something out. Uh, we live in a city uh, that uh, is, I don't know, could you say flooded with churches? Yes, you could say we're flooded with churches. Um, there are churches all over over the place. You'd think this would be the most Christian town in all of the nation, all of Missouri, but it's not. Um, there's, I'm downtown because sometimes I come down here and just kind of pray uh, for the city, pray for the people. Um, but something that God reminded me today is, uh, we once again, we have so many churches. We have uh, extension churches, satellite churches, church campuses, and they birth another church campus. And I said, churches are springing up. But one thing I see, there's not a, I mean, there are people getting saved. Don't get me wrong. Some of these churches, there are people getting saved. But guess what? God can do so much more. And But it's not just having money and getting this building and having money and getting this building. I'll tell you what it is. It is, what about the church that only has 10 people? What about the church that has 20? What about the church, the house church that has five? Um, churches that size can still be very powerful for the kingdom of God. You don't have an extension site. You don't even have to have a church with a nursery program or a kids' church program. Um, the Bible says we're two or three gathered in my name. There I am. What's that mean? It means a congregation be two or three people. So if it's meeting in a church, a cafe, uh, uh, they get to the point where we have a church building, storefront, doesn't matter. You see, how much money you have is not going to be the key. How many ministries or programs you have is not the key to growing the kingdom of God. Don't get me wrong. It helps, but that's not the key. Why can I say that? Because Jesus had the anointing of the Holy Spirit and the dirt he stood on. So if you're a believer that has nothing, well, if you're a believer, you have the anointing of the Spirit and you have the dirt you stand on. Some of us is concrete, wood, carpet. But the thing is, the Bible is very specific on what is needed to reach more people for the kingdom of God. It's found in Matthew chapter uh, 9, verse 37, 38. Listen to this. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. What's that mean? It means if you're a believer... Open your mouth about Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed about Jesus Christ. Be bold about your faith in the, in the Lord. Believe that God has called you, you, as a believer, to carry out his message. Doesn't matter if you have $50 in your bank account or $5 in the bank account or $50,000 in your bank account. God wants to use you. It doesn't matter if you're a pastor of a church that has, you know, 8,000 people, or if you're a pastoring a home church that might have two or three people. You can be a person, whether you're just a believer or you're in a church doing things, doesn't matter. If you claim Christ as Lord and Savior, you're a believer. Now, watch this. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he send forth labors into his harvest. He's telling that to his disciples. Now, as the disciples started praying for that, guess who were the first to call to preach? The disciples. In essence, they were praying for themselves. And the Bible in John chapter 4 said, the fields are wide in the harvest. They're ready. I guarantee you, there are people in your life right now, either where you're working, where you go to school, in your family, amongst friends, neighbors, they are ready to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They are wide in the harvest. They just need you to go out and get them. So I encourage you, you're the laborer. Do the work God has called us all to do. And let's see, not only Springfield, let's see Missouri and the nation, just people receiving Jesus Christ, fall in love with him, fall in love with his word and growing. And uh, God bless, let that challenge you today. You're called. <laughs> Jesus name. Have a great day.